So this video is on gram staining. I took out of the incubator the three plates that I was streaking last time. This is the original plate of bacteria that is growing on my fingers. I had found three different colonies and they're all different. They all look a little bit different on the plates. This one is very yellow. These two have are both kind of white but they are different kind of shapes. And then I also have a fourth one which is this kind of orangish one right here that I did not put on plates but I also am going to gram stain that. So generally for gram staining we are using these pre-clean microscope slides right here. A little bit of DI water and a dropper and our slides labeled here. This is one way of doing it, and this is what we're going to start with. So to do this, take a drop of DI water, put it on your slide, take your loop, sterilize it. One, two, three, four. Let it cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your plate. I only have one hand, so take your loop. Find a colony that's all by itself, because that's growing from one type of bacteria. And then just spread it around in the water. When you're done, sterilize again. One, two, three, four. And there you go. So we've been having some discussions on the better way of making gram stain slides. And I was questioning whether we should be using water. We were thinking, okay, maybe we should be using saline instead. I looked online and it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, I still have a little bit more research to do. But I'm going to show another way of making a gram stain slide, which is kind of more what I was doing where I used to work. So this is just another idea of how to make a gram stain slide. So I have a test tube full of saline. It is sterile, and that's what this tape means here. If it's black, it means it was sterilized. Take the tape off. Take the cap off. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Find a colony all by itself. Put the loop with my colony into the sterile ceiling. Go back, put the cap back on. Vortex. Put the cap back off. Sterile pipette, take my sterile pipette, put it in the put it on my 
this side. Then the pipette will have to go in biohazard. The tube, we will have to autoclave and kill the bacteria and get it reset. So that is another way. Not a lot of bacteria on this side. A lot of bacteria all over on this side. So these are the supplies for gram staining. First I have my stain, crystal violet, iodine, decolorizer, and safranin. I am also going to show you how to use a squirt bottle of methanol. I like to use a squirt bottle of DI water. I'm going to collect the waste alcohols in here. I'm not sure if that is required yet, but I'm going to research that. You may want to use an incinerator. And then we have this rack to put your slides on. So from my original TSA plate of my fingerprints, I have made four different slides, plus I have one of a mixed liquor that you're going to be doing in class. And then I'm going to find out what type of bacteria are on my fingers. So first thing I need to do is fix my slides. And what that means is whatever we put on our slides here is not going to stick unless we make it stick. So there are two ways of doing it. The traditional way is to put it up against a heat source like this and use heat fixing. So I have done a lot of research on this and heat fixing is not as ideal as other ways of, of fixing. Plus in the wastewater book by Tony it said not to heat fix your mixed liquor slides. So I am going to use methanol. Methanol seems to be the preferred way of doing it these days. So, I do not know if this is allowed on the mixed liquor side. We have to figure that out yet. So, so what I like to do is take my methanol in a squirt bottle and squirt it on like that and let it sit in air dry. Other people like to hold this over the waste bottle and squirt the methanol right on it and let it drip off and then put it here to dry. I am seeing the methanol makes the Sharpies run so we may need to switch all to China markers if we're going to do that. So if you think about it, this plate full of bacteria, some of these bugs are young, some of these bugs are old and each little dot is from one bacteria. So it is a mixture of, of bugs. Some are very young and can hold the stain real well. Some are kind of elderly and they will not hold their stain well. Methanol seems to help them keep their stain. So before we start, I just want to show that this is the, an alcohol and I'm putting it in a waste bottle for now. And I'll put it somewhere for disposal. The decolorizer also has an alcohol in it and some acetone. So this will also do into this waste bottle. So a little bit more to think about, but if we are required to store our waste alcohols, we, we should be doing that. So the way of gram staining is to put some crystal violet on the slide, let it sit for a minute, rinse it off, put some iodine on it, rinse after a minute, then use the gram stain decolorizer on it. That will get rid of the excess stain and the stain will be removed from anything that is gram negative and gram positive will hold the stain. Then add the safranin and then everything that is gram negative will take the stain. And then we'll look at it under a microscope. Now for rinsing, there are two different ways of rinsing. A lot of people just turn this on really, really lightly and rinse. I like to use a squirt bottle. It's up to you which one you want to use. 
This is a nice faucet. This is kind of going very slowly and it's not going to like wipe everything off your slide. So this is a good way of, of using, of rinsing your slides right here. I worked at a place where I could not get this thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, let's gram stain. So right now I have all of my slides plus my other mix liquor. I just, I just add a little bit of stain. You don't have to be neat. I avoid getting it onto my writing though. Keep it on this side. And it is okay for this scram stain to go into down the drain as you're rinsing. So I wait for a minute. Okay, a minute has passed. I'm going to take all my slides and rinse them under the water. So what I do is I pick up my slides, get most of it off, and then I'm going to use my squirt bottle to rinse off. You do not have to be perfect with this because the colorizer is going to take it off. So I take it up, hold it, rinse it off, put it back. Alright, crystal violet is done. I'm going to add my iodine. And that sits for one minute too. So after I saw that iodine, it was very, very thin looking, I got another bottle out. So there's my iodine sitting on there for exactly one minute. Now I'm going to take the iodine and rinse it off. I hold on to here, hold on to the side, and I just let it run off the opposite side. I only have one hand, so I'm going to put this down. Right here are the slides after the iodine is rinsed off. Now I'm getting out my Grand decolorizer. I'm getting out my waste bottle. What I'm going to do is hold my slide over the waste bottle, drip the decolorizer until the color is all run off. All right, I ran the decolorizer over it. You can see it's all spilled into there. There's still a little bit of color, so I'll add a little bit more. And once it's done dripping off, I rinse right away with the DI water to get the decolorizer off. Okay, got my slide, my decolorizer. Rinse with DI water. Very thick slide again, so there's still some blue on there, but the color quit running off. Here's my next one. Still got some blue running off. Yeah, that's more like it. That's my mixed liqueur slide. This slide is doing pretty good too. Got a lot more of that blue off of there. Next liqueur slide here. Okay. Next thing we do. Add the saffronin. I believe this is a 30 second. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. This time you want to rinse it nice and well because that's the end of the gram stain. After this, you just let it dry. 
and put it under the microscope. Look for your bugs. Then go all the way up to the high oil, 100%. 100 objective high oil. And um, we'll see what I have.